Hi comic book fans and welcome to another suddenlycomics.com video. Today it's a review. Um, I have got a copy of uh, The Devil's Cut. Okay, this is uh, just come out recently. Um, and as you can see, it is a um, oversized comic. Here is a normal size comic. Uh, and you can see uh, this is bigger. Uh, okay. Um, now, this is really interesting. This is, um, I'm going to read you what it says at the start of this. Um, I should get two copies of this. At Distillery, so that's the, the sort of followed the habit of leaving all the vowels out. At Distillery, um, we're doing something different. Not only are we publishing creator-owned comics, but creators are and will be co-owners of Distillery itself. We believe these differences. Um, inspire creators to do their most potent work. This book you have in your hands, The Devil's Cut, contains the collective first statement of the founding creators and their friends. Uh, you may want to sip these spirits slowly, the pack they pack a punch. Now, The Devil's Cut, when you're um, distilling whiskey, um, the vapours that come off are known as the angel's share. What is left in the barrel and in the wood is known as the devil's cut, hence the name for this first comic. Now, uh, which I really like that, it's very clever. Um, here, who are the people who are involved in this? There's some cracking people here, quite a lot of them I've actually met at Thought Bubble. Um, we've got Mirka Andolfo, uh, Brian Azzarello, uh, Mark Bernardin, uh, Elsie Charretier, Becky Clunan, who I have met, uh, Francesco Francavilla, uh, Lee Garbett, Jock, uh, Joel Jones, um, Ariella Cristina, Tula Lote. Tula Lote is the lady who uh, actually started Thought Bubble, uh, Jamie McKelvey, Jonko Mizuno, Stephanie Phillips. Uh, Eduardo Risso, James Tinian IV, uh, Scott Snyder, Ram V, all of these people I've met at uh, Thought Bubble over the last couple of years, Christian Ward and founding editor Will Dennis. And there is a double page spread here uh, showing you pictures of all these fabulous creators. Really great. Um, I've just read this. Okay, what do I think? Um, I think the artwork is what stands out to me. Uh, for me, two or three, some of the stories were very basic. Um, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of really good stories. My favourite ones, surprise, surprise, were the first story uh, by James Tinian. Um, that I thought was really captivating, and also I really liked. Um, I really liked the uh, Ram V story, so no big surprises there um, because those are two of the best writers we have around at the moment. Um, however, I have to say uh, some of the artwork is fantastic and one of my favourite stories in this, um, very atmospheric stuff done by um, Becky Clunan and Tula Lote, who've sort of done a combined artist writer because they can both write, they can both draw. Um, and we've got a fantastic story called What Blighted Flame Burns It In Thee, which is uh, sort of um, going back into uh, witch hunting territory. Uh, this girl in the sort of orange coloured dress um has it's a fairly traditional story accused of being a witch um and then a flame of love sparks and the artwork there is excellent that probably was my favorite sort of story artwork combination um but there's some other really good strong artwork in here um i quite liked this um this, this story here, which was uh, one, the only one which is sort of funny, uh, which is sort of um, about a sort of secret agent getting out of uh, getting out of trouble, uh, leaping and dancing all over the place, um, and that uh, that was by um, 
uh, Mark Bernardin and uh, sorry, Elsie Char Charretier and uh, um, oh, actually writer and artist. So I'm going to look out for uh, her because I did quite like that. Um, so that one was pretty notable. There was some fantastic uh, the the artwork in this story here. Um, artwork here uh, I think that was um, yeah I mean great great I love that one uh, that um, look at the artwork I'm going to just let the artwork speak for itself um, that, that story there was by um, yeah, Stephanie Phillips and uh, writer and Joelle Jones as artist. I do love Joelle Jones' art. Um, and in this, it's particularly strong. Um, beautiful use of colours. Um, and a really, a really dark story. Um, yeah, so enjoyed that one. And I can't, can't, um, can't go without um, showing you uh, the cover here is, of course, by jock um, and we have um, a story uh, by jock and artwork by jock uh, I mean the story is very simple um, but the artwork as you would expect from jock is fantastic so overall the devil's cut um, $9.99 so and it's an expensive comic but it's probably a relatively cheap trade paperback um i really enjoyed it do i think i got my nine dollars 99 cents worth out of this yes i do um i also think guys this uh first production here from distillery is um collectible um you know we've got some big names in there um i will be taking my copy to uh thought bubble uh in november um and uh uh, get some signatures on it because <laughs> I suspect there will be a number of these creators uh, who have been contributed to this at Thought Bubble. So there you go. That is the Suddenly Comics review of The Devil's Cut. Find a copy. It's well worth it. That's your lot. See you again soon.